Hello kids and families out there. My name is Faith Kickery, and I'm the children's ministry leader at First United Methodist Church in Lancaster City. I'm so glad you could join me today. We are in Lent season, and what I'm gonna be going over today with you in this lesson is from Mark 1, 9 through 15, Jesus in the wilderness. And what this is, is about, Jesus was preparing he was preparing to go out and preach all around the world, but he really needed to focus and gain his spiritual strength. What better to do that than go out into the wilderness, deep into the wilderness with no distractions, nothing on him, just he and God. And just imagine if you like to go camping and you're going camping on a long trip into the wilderness. Some people like to go really deep into the woods. Just imagine if you could only bring one thing with you into the wilderness. Boy, okay, so let me think, what could I bring with me? A pack of matches, that would be good. Definitely a pack of matches would be what I would wanna bring because I would wanna start a fire, it might get cold. And then at night it's dark, I might want some light. Oh, wait a minute, maybe not the matches, maybe a flashlight would be better because then I could see and if I hear something, I could flash the light towards them. But then again, what about water? Water's important, water's really important and there might not be a stream nearby. So I'd wanna bring water for sure. Yeah, oh, wait a minute, what about, what about food? Food's really important too, I'm gonna get hungry and I don't think I'm gonna wanna eat bugs and, and bark off of trees, ooh. This is tough. And what about s'mores? I always have s'mores when I go camping. Marshmallows with graham crackers and chocolate, and you melt the marshmallows in the fire. Boy, this is tough. Well, just imagine, Jesus went into the wilderness and he didn't have anything. So hopefully you saw that I wanted you to bring along for this video some Play-Doh. And if you didn't get Play-Doh a while, go ahead and pause, go get some Play-Doh, and then come back. So I'm going to assume that you now have your Play-Doh on you and I want you to make something out of your Play-Doh that you would want to bring camping. So go ahead, think of something that you would want to bring, just one thing camping with you on a long trip and, and go ahead and make that item and then I'll show you what I make. Okay, so I have decided to make a tent. So you made your one item out of Play-Doh. That was hard, wasn't it? To try and think of one thing you'd bring with you out into the wilderness? Well, Jesus went out there with nothing. He didn't have water. He didn't have a sleeping bag. He didn't have a tent, food. It was just him. So if you have your Bible, open it up to Mark 1, 9 through 15. It says, the baptism and testing of Jesus. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. John was Jesus's cousin. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. The clouds opened up, the sun shone down, a dove might have come down and landed on his shoulder. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, whom I love with you, and I am well pleased. So that was God speaking to Jesus. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness for 40 days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals and angels attended him. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. So during the season of Lent, see if there's something that you could give up. 
something you can give up in the days leading up to Easter. Something like chocolate or your favorite video game or your favorite television show. And, and then as you're missing that one item you're giving up, you're, you're able to just pray and focus on God and think about bringing your spirit closer to Him. And you even could just try and take some time to go to a quiet place where you don't have any distractions. Maybe it's a quiet room or when the weather's a little bit nicer, hopefully in the next couple of days, uh, go outside somewhere where it's quiet and you don't have distractions and just sit and pray and think about God and just listen to the birds and just get closer to God that way without the distractions we normally have today, every day. So let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for bringing these kids and families here to talk about the lessons of Jesus in the wilderness. And I just pray that during the season of Lent, you help us gain strength and give us wisdom and touch on our spirit and help us to be able to, to get away from the temptations that we have in our everyday to day life and try and focus more on you and pray to you and, and talk to you and help us to just stay strong in our spirit and prepare us for Easter coming up so we really can reflect on what Jesus did for us to save us all and just cleanse our spirits. And thank you for everything that you do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So thank you for joining me today and see you again soon. Bye.